words of Sri Aurobindo from the book The Mother, Part Two, Letters on the Mother by Our Lord, Chapter Six, Working of the Mother's Force, Page One Forty Seven, Topic. the mother's force in the material question when can it be said that the material is ready for the divine sri aurobindo says if the material consciousness is open feels the mother's force working in it and responds then it is ready date 11th june 1933 Sri Aurobindo says the mother's consciousness can be there in all the atoms of the body since all is secretly conscious. Date 5th October 1933. For the mother's force to work fully in the body the body itself and not only the mind must have faith and open. Date 9th October 1933 Question Is it that mother begins to work on the physical nature after the inner parts are made ready Sri Aurobindo says it is the usual course but some work is always being done in the inner parts at all times because they are interdependent The next topic the mother's influence on the subconscious and the environmental question since morning i was having intense aspiration to get lost in the mother's consciousness then i felt my consciousness frequently rising and stationing itself above Before pranam i felt as if even the parts near the navel and below were being drawn upwards after pranam i experienced for some time a different kind of atmosphere almost concretely around me so i imagined that the mother may have put a strong spiritual sin influence on my subconscious and the environmental consciousness for this shurbindo says it is very good you are right about the subconscious and environmental for it is there that the influence must fall so that the consciousness may go upward and spread itself out widely in a free peace light and joy connecting them down to the subconscious with the higher consciousness it is then that the loss of the ego in the mother's consciousness becomes possible date 25th september 1935 next topic assimilation of the mother's force as for mother's force when one receives it the best way is to be quiet till it is assimilated afterwards it is all right not lost by outward movement or mixing shurbindo continues to say if the meditation brings poise peace a concentrated condition or even a pressure or influence that can go on in the work provided one does not throw it away by a relaxed or dispersed state of consciousness that was why the mother wanted people not only to be concentrated at pranam or meditation but to remain silent and absorb or assimilate afterwards and also insisted on avoiding things that relax or disperse or dissipate too much precisely for this reason that so the effects of what she put in them might continue and the change of attitude will take place 
but i am afraid most of the sadhaks have never understood or practiced anything of the kind they could not appreciate or understand her directions although a quiet and steady will to progress to be settled in you learn the habit of a silent persistent and thorough assimilation of what the mother puts in you this is the sound way to advance march 1928 pulling at the mother's force shri arbindo says when one is open and too eager and tries to pull down the force experience etc instead of letting it descend quietly that is called pulling many people pull at the mother's forces trying to take more than they can easily assimilate and disturbing the working april 1935 question what is meant by pulling when we want something from the mother with a vital desire is it pulling what is its effect on us for this shyarbindo says yes that is one kind of pulling its effect is to blind and confuse the consciousness but there is also a pulling for the right things which is not bad in itself and most people use for example for light force ananda but it brings more reactions than the quiet opening to the divine date 1st june 1933 shri arbindo says no to make people ill in order to improve or perfect them is not the mother's method but sometimes things like headache come because the brain either tried too much or does not want to receive or makes difficulties but the yogic headaches are of a special kind and after the brain has found out the way to receive or respond they do not come at all date 20th june 1935 question is the heat felt in the body of the fever or of the mother's force which has exerted a tremendous pressure on my adhara shurbindo says that has still to be seen it is most probably the tapas heat the question is whether it is turned partially in the body into fever date 7th june 1936